One of the amazing things that makes Japan such a unique country is how it can mix its ancient history and traditions with its incredible modernization. It's a great mix, the best of both worlds. Throughout the whole country, we're able to not only explore the traditional beauties this country has to offer, but also see the convenience of its technological advances. Rice farming has sustained the people of northern Japan's Inakadate village for 2,000 years. Whether from the past, existing now in the present, or looking forward to the future, 15 shocking things recently discovered in Japan. <laughs> Number 15. Fish Ice Rink Space World in Japan was a theme park all about space. Just looking up at the life-size replica of a space shuttle that towers over its surroundings was enough to make the heart beat faster. There were more than 30 attractions to entertain and educate children and adults alike. Each one had its own appeal, giving visitors a taste of space and the yearning to explore it. But after this frozen fish fiasco, the park closed. The theme park froze fish and other sea creatures into the decor of the ice rink as part of a special winter attraction. The park advertised it as a world first and posted images of the fish on its official social media. But the bizarre plan did not go off as the park wished. The reaction on social media had been brutal once news of the attraction was broadcast on local television. Surprisingly, park officials were shocked to hear the reaction as the ice skate rink was very popular since it opened. It even had an unprecedented number of visitors. But friends of the fish and animal conservationists weren't having it. The rink featured about 5,000 dead sea creatures that had been bought from a local market embedded in the ice, some with their mouths still open and apparent suspended animation. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14. Robot Repairman In the west of Japan's Honshu Island, robots are at large across the railways. It's not an attack of the clone-style takeover that movie makers have been dreaming up in robot uprising movies. Far from it. Owned and operated by the West Japan Railway Company, these machines are an exciting step forward in the field of service robotics. So far, they've been employed for repairs along power lines and for heavy maintenance tasks that they take off the hands of human workers to improve productivity and safety. The entire setup rolls around on its railway service car to wherever dangerous work is needed. These humanoid robots are meant to safeguard human life by taking on dangerous, life-threatening jobs so that workers don't have to. And despite their impressive bulk, they're not autonomous, they're completely dependent on commands from their operator without which they would be completely unreactive. Once there, an operator controls the entire humanoid device with a motion control system. In addition to keeping workers away from dangerously high voltages, these robot repair bots will eliminate the need for workers to sit in a crane or at the top of a tall platform. These robots can be remotely operated from the ground. Number 13. Bowing Deer According to Shinto tradition and lore, these Nara deer were the sacred messengers of the gods, such that in ancient times, killing a deer in Nara was a crime punishable by death. These days, the deer are no longer considered sacred, but to honor tradition, they are considered national treasures, which is why you can see them roaming in Nara Park. In fact, that's why the park is sometimes called Nara Deer Park, or Japan's Deer Forest. It's easily the area's most defining feature. Today, there are over 1,200 deer here. There are so many deer that you don't need to get far from the train station before you're surrounded by them. But some deer issue a polite bow in favor of a more aggressive approach to stalking their claim to the crackers, a mixture of wheat flour and rice bran. A total of 180 people were injured by deer in the park recently, up from 118 the previous year. According to local government figures, most of the injuries happened while feeding the deer. Still. Nara has been populated by the Sika deer for centuries, and the creatures there now are protected by law, making it illegal to harm them. Tourism in Nara continues to grow. Its main park welcomes around 13 million visitors annually, helped in no small part by the deer. Number 12. Ice Cream Apology When businesses in most parts of the world raise their prices, they'll often try to do it quietly. But in Japan, an ice cream maker is going into a decidedly different direction after deciding to raise its prices. 
They've made popsicles since 1981, and it's known and beloved for odd flavors like energy drink, corn soup, and cream stew. And since 1991, those popsicles have cost 60 yen, about 55 cents. Now though, these same popsicles will cost 70 yen. A 9 cent increase in the cost of a popsicle may not seem like that big of a deal, but because it's the first time the company has raised its prices in a quarter century, it's taking the news very seriously. Company executives recorded a 60-second television spot to apologize to the people of Japan for raising prices. Backed by a folk song whose name translates to price hike or price increase, the staff stands and then bows as text comes on the screen reading, we held out for 25 years. We appreciate the sentiment, just keep making those popular popsicles. It's nice to see a company appearing to take responsibility for raising its prices. The reasons for the price increase are likely higher prices for raw materials and labor. But this company understands the seriousness of implementing its first price hike in over 25 years. Number 11. World's Biggest Tug of War Bio, chemistry, the quadratic formula, dodgeball, these were all skills honed or not in school for some of us. But most of us have never applied these skills to our daily adult lives. Visitors to Japan can now pull one of these useless but super fun gym glass skills to good use. Okinawa is home to the world's largest, most outlandish tug-of-war competitions, simply dubbed the Great Tugs of War. They bring locals together to pray for a better harvest, good rain, reliable fish catches to ward off evil spirits, or some combination of all of the above. Every event is colored with the surrounding region's local culture and flair. A ceremonial parade precedes most events with fan dancing, martial arts demonstrations, and more. The tradition dates back several centuries and are all traditionally designed to foster the spirit of cooperation, and it takes place every year between July through October. Every year, attendees join the celebration to pray for a good year ahead. This can include everything from fertility blessings and financial success to world peace and good health. It's also, of course, a great way to draw tourists. Guinness World Records certified the Naha event as the world's largest ever tug-of-war. Number 10. Tsunami Pod The Japan earthquake and tsunami of 2011 was a natural disaster that shook northeastern Japan. The disaster began when a magnitude 9 earthquake shook the region in the early afternoon, unleashing a savage tsunami. The effects of the great earthquake, which was the strongest in Japan's recorded history, were felt around the world. Residents are still recovering from the disaster. As of November 2021, there were still about 39,000 evacuees who lost their homes. But if this clever emergency living capsule is put to use, it could help save so many lives. The fiberglass NOAA capsule is a personal-sized work of emergency architecture, offering shelter in the event of an earthquake or tsunami. Entered through a locking hatch, the cabin has a small lookout window and breathing holes while its bright yellow color makes it easy to be located by rescue crews. The device has been heavily tested for safety and durability. Water safe, although not fire resistant, NOAA measures four feet in diameter and can house up to four adults, costing approximately 3,900 US dollars. The company is also working on models that fit six and 12 people. Number nine, Giant Gundam. This 60-foot-tall Gundam robot in Yokohama is easily one of the most impressive attractions we've seen to date. With flashing LED lights, moving limbs, and the ability to step out from the surrounding dock, the colossal robot is a modern marvel of engineering and a dream come true for mecha fans everywhere. Development of the project began as far back as 2014, with designers spending several years perfecting its mechanics before the Gundam was finally unveiled. The robot has more than 200 pieces made from a mixture of steel and carbon fiber reinforced plastic, according to the company that created it. It will allow fans to get up close and personal with the creation and learn about how it was created. The robot features an incredible 24 degrees of mobility. It can walk, too. In the video, you can observe workers touching up the robot on a crane as the giant Gundam picks up and puts down its legs and rotates its massive torso. When everything is said and done, the sad news is that the attraction is only temporary, meaning it'll only be open for a fraction of the time it took to build. But there is a silver lining. The operation period for Gundam Factory Yokohama has just been extended. There's still time to go see it. Number 8. Oldest Personal Trainer 
Many 90-year-olds are struggling to walk, let alone get some serious exercise, but this 90-year-old not only conducts daily fitness regimes religiously, she actually works as a fitness instructor. Takashima Mika is more active than most 20-year-olds and probably fitter too, but she wasn't always like that. In fact, her transformation began late in life when she was already in her 60s. A random comment by her husband regarding her weight changed everything. A full-time housewife, Takashima had never even considered going to the gym, but her husband's comment made her do just that and she caught the fitness bug almost instantly. Although she achieved her initial goal weight after about five years, she continued training as her newfound love of fitness helped her set new challenges for herself. Then, once she had achieved it, she decided she wanted broad shoulders and a narrow waist. The next thing she knew, she was teaching aerobics classes. At this point, she's Japan's oldest fitness instructor and has become somewhat of a minor celebrity, both because of her excellent physical shape and her positive attitude and infectious smile. Number 7. Ninja Warrior Chimp Sasuke is a Japanese sport enthusiast game show airing since 1997, in which 100 competitors attempt to complete a four-stage obstacle course. An edited version, named Ninja Warrior, is screened in at least 18 other countries. In this video, a crazy chimp named Gomez Chamberlain completes the American Ninja Warrior-like obstacle course in just one minute and seven seconds. He starts the course with a smile from ear to ear as he's eager to show the world his crazy chimp superpowers. He sprints toward a wall and scales it within 10 seconds. He then swings from a rope. The next obstacle involves two skinny spinning foam pads that are both revolving in two opposite directions. He leaps from one spinning foam pad to the next effortlessly. Chamberlain then swings on a rope to get to the next obstacle and moves across a few monkey bars. With little to no surprise to anyone, Chamberlain swiftly completes it. In the next obstacle course, the chimp is challenged to swing from multiple ropes. As he often does, he makes the jump look easy. He completes it within a time span of seconds. The completion of this obstacle requires critical thinking and perfect timing. Fortunately, Chamberlain the Ninja Warrior Chimp has both. Number 6. Keyhole Tombs These ancient burial grounds, known as Kofun, are found all across Japan. Almost identical to the shape of a keyhole, the structures are ancient burial mounds built thousands of years ago. Thought to have been erected over a period of nearly 20 years in the mid-5th century, while others have been dated to between the early 3rd and 7th centuries. Without machines, it must have taken 2,000 workers and a continuous 15 years to finish, researchers think. But nearly all of them are stumping archaeologists and researchers as to what truly lies deep beneath them. This much they know. These are megalithic tombs and range from several feet to over 500 feet long, with the largest, the Daisen Kofun, having been attributed to an emperor in Osaka. It's drawn particular attention because of its size. In terms of surface area, it's actually bigger than the Egyptian pyramids. It was once home to over 100 tombs but has shrunk over the centuries. A total of 161,560 Kofun tomb sites have been found as of 2001. Researchers have been attempting to decipher the mystery of these ancient keyhole-shaped tombs, but strict security makes their excavations almost impossible. Number 5. Platform Cedar Daisugi is a Japanese growing technique. The term roughly translates to platform cedar. Shoots from the base of the tree are pruned so that the trunk stays straight. This technique results in a harvest of straight logs without having to cut down the entire tree. The Kitayama area of Kyoto has become especially known for its forest of Daisuki. We've all admired the elegance of Japan's traditional styles of architecture. Their development required the kind of dedicated craftsmanship that takes generations to cultivate, but also, more practically speaking, no small amount of wood. By the 15th century, Japan already faced a shortage of seedlings as well as land on which to properly cultivate the trees in the first place, necessity being the mother of invention. This led to the creation of an ingenious solution. The growing of additional trees, an effect out of existing trees, creating, in other words, a kind of giant bonsai. The technique resulted in a tree that resembled an open palm with multiple trees growing out of it, perfectly vertical. Done right, it can prevent deforestation and result in perfectly round and straight timber. And not only is its product straight, slender and typhoon resistant, it's marveled at around the world 600 years later. Number 4. 
rice murals. Rice is a very big deal in most of Asia. Japan is no exception. Archaeological exploration led to a realization that rice had been grown in Japan for more than 2,000 years. About 95% of the scenery here is rice fields, a national symbol of the Japanese countryside. These days, there's a new challenge on those rice fields called rice field art, and these people have taken the job of growing rice to a whole other level. They made it an art form. They turn rice fields into big canvases and make pictures by using many different kinds of rice plants in the fields. It all started in a village in the 1990s. The people watched as their population continued moving to the cities, and the local council began brainstorming ways to turn the village into a tourist destination. The idea they cooked up was to plant differently colored rice in such a way that it created an image in the paddy. Prior to planting, farmers sketch out the designs on computers to figure out where and how to plant the rice. And agreements between landowners have allowed for larger pictures to be created. They kept at it, introducing more colors of rice over the years and producing more complicated images. Since then, it's spread all across the country. And now, hundreds of thousands of people visit to see this unusual art each year. Number 3. Autonomous An autonomous is a relatively self-operating machine or control mechanism designed to automatically follow a sequence of operations or respond to predetermined instructions. And nobody has mastered the art of making them like the Japanese. Check out these mechanical puppets. The word karakuri can be translated as hidden mechanism or trick, as in magic. And these puppets were solely created to inspire a sense of wonder. It has origins linked to the development of clockworks and mechanisms in 16th and 17th century Japan. Ancestors of robots, their mechanical puppets on moving carriage-like floats. The puppets are operated by means of strings, which trigger various gears, by several manipulators hidden in the carriage. Inspired by theater, faces and representations were crafted with great care. Elaborate figures evoke emotional responses, and all with subtle and graceful movements. Each puppet is made up of a mechanism with springs that bring each part of it back to the original position once there's no longer any pull on the string. This combination of lateral and vertical movements gives the puppet a unique quality all on its own. They're highly collectible as a result. Number 2. The Killing Stone Some folks believe this so-called Killing Stone is the transformed corpse who lived during the reign of Emperor Toba about a thousand years ago. But the corpse was not human. It was actually a nine-tailed fox working with an evil lord to overthrow the emperor. But before the fox could enact its dastardly plan, a warrior killed the fox. Apparently, a priest resting near the stone was threatened by the fox's spirit. After certain rituals were performed, the fox entity promised not to haunt the stone anymore. That didn't stop rumors circulating that anyone who touched the stone ended up dead. The stone made international headlines recently when it split, spewing out toxic gases. Despite a logical explanation, many people saw the split as a bad omen. Some locals believe that the cracked stone released an evil demon, and recently, the local government had priests host a ceremony to appease the spirit and pacify the beast at the site with prayers and offerings. Still to this day, the stone is rumored to curse anyone who comes into contact with it. But since it's in an area filled with poisonous gas, there could be a rational explanation for that. It's most likely that the split was the result of natural weathering. Number 1. FaceTime Eels a Japanese aquarium made headlines recently to help with their eels. They were lonely, so the aquarium started asking animal lovers to make video calls to its eels so the sensitive creatures remember that humans exist and do not pose a threat. The Sumida Aquarium, housed in the landmark Tokyo Skytree Tower, has been closed recently and the animals have become used to a largely human-free environment. But the aquarium said the unprecedented situation was leading the eels to hide in the sand when the keepers passed by. We can't have that. Eels are very sensitive and wary by nature, but 300 of them living in a tank at the aquarium have become used to humans and rarely hid in the sand when approached by visitors. It may sound crazy, but a lot of people claim there's a gentle side to eels. Some aquarium workers have even said that the snake-like fish are even more like dogs, showing intelligence and memory uncharacteristic for a non-mammal. So in a bid to reacquaint the eels with humans, the aquarium set up five tablets facing the tank housing the delicate creatures with eel enthusiasts asked to connect on FaceTime. Once the video calls start, people are supposed to show their faces, wave, 
and talk to the eels. Shocking? Yeah, but fascinating nonetheless. Japan is as entrenched in its rich history as it is its vibrant future, and we're here for it. So, like and subscribe if you are too, and stay tuned for more great content.